Hello, a new program um, called WCC. Uh, you can see that I have a freshly initialized uh, wing. There's nothing there, and we're going to go on the PC to see what we have there. Um, so this is OBS Studio. I believe it's uh, version 29.2.0.2, as it says here, uh, which can be downloaded from uh, the website and uh, its companion software which is called OSC for OBS that enables controlling OBS from OSC functionality. Um, I believe it actually enables to control all of the functionality of OBS although I'm far from being a uh, OBS user I don't know much about it. And we have a uh, program called WCC here ready to launch with a definition file called uh, WCC fill file dot text uh, that can be uh, uh, that will be loaded as the program starts. Um, this enables uh, menu control, snippets, saving and restore, as well as sending OSC commands um, from eight simultaneous devices, um, and that can be very useful for controlling different things, such as here OSC for OBS and therefore OBS, or it could be also an X32 or another wing or um, maybe a DMX uh, lighting system that would uh, accept, uh, accept OSC commands. Um, the choice is yours, up to eight devices that you can identify by their ID. Back to the console. So we have the um, initialization that uh, is taken from this file which is loaded and it shows you know a number of things that have been set up in the custom control section. Uh, for those of you who have looked at the WX Fade uh, program videos, you will find uh, some similarities here. Um, you can have menus, uh, loading new files for example, or going back to the previous one as I'm doing just now. Uh, and you will have uh, snippets, um, you know, menus and OSC as I mentioned before. Uh, lots of things um, that can be used and uh, that can show very useful on the PC. One of them, for example, uh, is the FX on here, which is a flash effect um, showing the uh, uh, enabling an effect when you press and disabling it when you remove uh, your uh, finger. So I can try to move the uh, uh, wing, my, my camera here, so that we can see both um, the wing screen and the buttons. Um, and showing you when you press you can see that an effect is coming in when you remove your finger it goes out this is a functionality that is present in uh, WX Fade and is also present uh, in this program um, basically all the functionalities for buttons are being ported to that um, going closer to the uh, section here and looking at the OSC elements. So we have a connect OBS, close OBS, as well as four functions here which have been linked to uh, scenes that can be loaded. Uh, so we have the uh, um, scene, uh, next scene, previous scene and so on. Um, the buttons as well as the rotary buttons can be programmed, although I don't know yet what to do with the rotary buttons, so they're not very useful. I've been connected, uh, connecting to OBS and we can see what um, those buttons will do when we use them. So I've been porting my PC close to the wing and holding it, uh, holding it uh, with my hand as well as uh, playing the buttons. So you can see that uh, some lines have been added um, to the program when we played with the menu, uh, loading and unloading the menu. Um, so connecting um, to OBS um, and we can see that uh, some things will show up as we play with the buttons. Um, basically um, I can press on next scene you know which is a go up and you can see that uh, things are changing on the screen as well as uh, going down uh, so it, it goes you know between the scenes or um, I can also use the other two buttons which are uh, con um, programmed to set a specific scenes uh, which are scene 2 and scene 3 um, so all this works 
uh, you can play with transition times and so on um, all the functionality that is offered by OSC for OBS and OBS is now basically available on the tip of a finger on the wing I think this is a cool feature I hope you like it uh, thank you and see you next time